Russell Watson, born November 24, 1966, is an English tenor who has released singles and albums of both operatic style and pop songs. He began singing as a child, and became known after performing at a working men's club. He came to attention in 1999 when he sang God Save the Queen at the Rugby League Challenge Cup final at Wembley Stadium, Barcelona at the last match of the Premiership season between Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur at Old Trafford, and a full set of songs at the 1999 UEFA Champions League final in Barcelona between Manchester United and Bayern Munich. Watson's debut album The Voice was released in May 2001, four others followed. An album planned for November 2006 was delayed due to the removal of a benign pituitary tumor. This album, titled That's Life, was eventually released on March 5, 2007. On October 24, 2007, it was discovered that there had been a regrowth of the pituitary tumor and bleeding into Watson's brain. He underwent emergency surgery and was discharged from hospital on 31 October. He underwent an extensive rehabilitation program, including radiotherapy. His sixth studio album, Outside In, was released on November 26, 2007. On November 22, 2010, Watson released La Voce, his first album since overcoming the brain tumor. 1. In 2020, it was confirmed that Watson would be participating in the 20th series of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Watson was born on November 24, 1966. Although he had been singing since he was a child, he never sought a career as a professional singer. He attended Earlham Endowed Primary School 2, and Earlham and Caddishead High School 3, which he left with no GCEs. He then began work on a youth opportunities program for, as a bolt cutter 5, in Earlham, in Salford. Then married and with a baby, he began to earn extra cash singing Elvis Presley and other covers in Northwest clubs to help support his young family. The turning point in his career came one night at an engagement at Wigan Road Working Men's Club, when the secretary suggested that he try singing Nasun Dorma from Puccini's Turandot. Although Russell Watson was not a classically trained singer, he continued to perform the aria, and was encouraged to try other classical pieces. 6. In 1990 he won a Search for a Star contest organized by Manchester's Piccadilly Radio. In 1998 Ian Boisman, manager of the Bistro French restaurant in Preston, arranged for him to sing at Old Trafford during the interval at a memorial football match for the Munich air disaster, a huge privilege for a lifelong Manchester United fan. However, his appearance was cancelled at the last minute when player Eric Cantona requested that Mick Hucknall sing instead. Russell signed a management deal with Bozeman, this also involved comic Bobby Ball and businessman Keith Chadwick. In 1999 he sang God Save the Queen at the Rugby League Challenge Cup final at Wembley Stadium, then finally sang at Old Trafford before the last match of the Premiership season between Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. After the game, when his team had won the league championship, he returned to the pitch to sing the Freddie Mercury and Montserrat Caballé song Barcelona, during which he tore off his dinner jacket to reveal a Manchester United shirt. This appearance sealed his success, and only a week later he was invited to sing a full set at the final of the UEFA Champions League in Barcelona between United and Bayern Munich, duetting with Montserrat Caballé. Also on November 19, 1999, he participated in Cliff Richard's The Countdown concert, singing Nesun Dorma. This was broadcast live on Sky Digital under the title Live in Your Living Room. Before his performance, Cliff presented him with a gold disc award for the choir. Watson was now managed by Perry Hughes, who was pivotal in the success of Watson's career during these years. Watson's debut album, The Voice, followed in May 2001. A mixture of operatic arias and covers of pop songs, it topped the UK classical chart and eventually reached number 5 in the UK albums chart. When it was released in the United States, it took the number 1 spot, the first time a British artist had held both the US and UK classical number 1. The album contained perhaps Watson's most unusual collaboration to date, with former Happy Mondays singer Sean Ryder who lent his vocals to the Freddie Mercury and Montserrat Caballé song Barcelona. It also featured a duet with Faye Tozer of pop group Steps on Someone Like You. Cleo later duetted with Russell again, on his third album Reprise, on the best that love can be.